Rachel Hunter, and this time I'm on a journey through the Americas to discover more secrets to health, well being, and long lasting beauty. <laughs> Natural Rico. That is so crazy Beautiful. great. Oh my god, that's somebody's face. This time, I'm in Argentina. I hear the tango. To beautify my mind. I'm going into the bad territory here. Yeah. Body. You're tango ready. And soul. It protects your aura. I get to the heart of the country's glamour. I had my nose done, Botox, fillers. Explore new treatments for men. General whining. And find out what makes Argentinians so passionate. I just do a champagne bottle. <laughs> Buenos Aires, and the first thing I noticed is everyone looks fantastic. Known as the Paris of Latin America, the women here are renowned for being perfectly turned out all the time. I guess you don't leave home unless you're looking 100% beautiful. Just walking around the streets, the people here have this amazing self-confidence. Yes. Yeah, they just have this moodiness yeah. in them that makes it way more attractive. We try to look cool, you know? Yeah. We are Latin girls, so it's a little sexy. Like to be sexy, the hair, the face, to be sexy. The Argentinian worried about what the other people think. We are trying to look relaxed, but we work hard to get it. Yeah, yeah we are obsessed <laughs> about that. Many Argentinians are undeniably hot, but is it a case of good genes or good surgeons? I'm meeting a local socialite who proudly subscribes to the Argentinian more is more ethos. Charlotte Canigia first had plastic surgery when she was a teenager. Visiting a beauty parlor is part of her daily routine. What is beauty in Argentina? Um, I think it's the place where everyone's at the gym, everyone. Everyone likes to take care of themselves. Because you don't little... see people that are overweight. And there's like more skinny people. Yeah. And a lot of plastic surgery as well. And the, the sexuality here, it very much burns from inside. Yeah. It's very powerful. Yes. All that passionate yeah. Argentinian blood. <laughs> Today, we're getting an anti-cellulite scrub, a gentle non-invasive treatment, which is a far cry from Charlotte's years of cosmetic enhancement. Well, I've had plastic surgery done. Like, I and had you're quite it. open about it. Yeah, I'm really open about it. Like, I'm 23, but I had it done when I was, like, 19. At just 19 years of age, Charlotte booked herself in for a day of transformation, where she underwent several procedures. I went to the surgeon and I said I wanted double Ds for implants. And he was like, I don't think you should get double Ds because they're too big for your body. I was like, if you don't do it, I'm going to go to another surgeon. And he's like, OK, OK, I'll do it. Then I had, like, Botox, fillers. That day I had liposuction. I had my nose done. That day? That day. It, my surgery lasted, like, six hours. Wow. My mom and dad didn't know anything. No. I swear, I had to, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to make it all a secret. No. But Charlotte has some regrets. Now I think about it, and I think I should have listened to the doctor sometimes. Like, the boobs are too big. Like, I want to get it a smaller size. So you want to go in and have another surgery? Yes, I do. Big boobs are not in fashion no, at the like, moment. Yeah. So I got to, like... Take it down. Take it down. But I do want to have more stuff done. Yeah. yeah. You just see it, and you want to be like that. Well, it's been amazing talking to you. Thank you. And you're just you're absolutely gorgeous. Thanks. Thank you so much. I Thank you so hug. much, Rachel. I find Thank it you. fascinating the lengths Charlotte is willing to go to to look and feel beautiful. But she's not alone on that score. It turns out many Argentinian men are as image conscious as the women. Marcus Despa was created to satisfy the needs of a new generation of men. And I have to say, I'm pretty intrigued to see what goes on here. Okay, so what are some of the, the top treatments that you have here that are, so, they use all the time? The massages, top one, then the, the body scrubs and the facials. Okay. So far, it's pretty standard. Now we're doing like a little more Botox. Yeah, but a little bit more like it. The genital whitening. Genital whitening? Yeah, yeah. I want to know, like, do they dip? And <laughs> Is it painting? Like, what? Happens? I can show you that. <laughs> Manscaping. <laughs> I can't even walk around the street. 
street now. <laughs> and now I want x-ray eyes to see if I can see. OK, I'd love to clearly have a look around. OK, sure. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> With that image firmly in my head, I'm a little afraid of what I might see here. I love that I know my way around a man's spa. <laughs> Perhaps the second most interesting treatment they offer is the one Martin is getting today. Hey, how are you? I'm, I'm good, I'm Rachel. Nice one that apparently can dissolve fat. Gerardos, in general, there are this kind of problems. A small amount of fat. Um, he, that is not video, fat. Video. It's not a lot of fat. <laughs> this procedure is called mesotherapy. It's a cocktail of both natural and pharmaceutical ingredients injected deep into the fat tissue. Will be destroyed. Clearly, the men, just like the women in Argentina, want to look trim and taut in all the right places. Put two punctures. Oh my god, you're just like. Nothing. Then the liquid into the fat will distribute itself, the fat cells will be destroyed after the puncture. And it disappears into the bloodstream? How does no, the fat go no. away? The patient take a lot of water. And pees it out. And then they will eliminate it by urine. It's very easy, that. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd try this myself. Turn to your right. I really don't think you need no, that there. It's not my idea of a day at the spa, but then again... Do you have 20 needles? Did you do my love handles? <laughs> That's amazing, you just peer it out. So hang on a second, I want to ask about the genital whitening. It's a laser machine. It's a laser? It's a laser machine. Right. This is superficial. That's amazing. You want to try it? <laughs> right now? Um, maybe not, but I'm sure I can find a treatment here that's a little more my style. Vino or wine treatment. Now that's a bit more me. And Carlos here has this done fortnightly. Hola. 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 So she's the aesthetic therapist and she's also my mother. So you're doing the wine therapy? Yeah. Today. Uh, what are you painting on? That's algae mixed with the uh, wine. The powerful antioxidants in the wine are said to promote tissue elasticity, which stimulates collagen and cell renewal, which hopefully gets rid of those crinkly little lines on our faces. Like a baby skin. <laughs> Is it one of your favorites? Sí, sí, es uno de mis favoritos. La verdad que se siente muy bien en el momento y después también. Yes, he says it's one of his favorites because he always say, also likes the wine. Exactly, you drink up. So you drink wine during the therapy, you, you eat um, the grapes. Uh, he, a lot of his friends come over here to talk business and to talk about girls and to talk about fun and, and enjoy. I think I might be a little ticklish for this. But it certainly looks painless. And now, if you like, you can touch this side of his skin and you can see the glow. It's so soft. Mm -hmm. Do you want a robe? Like, why don't we... The men's spa has been fascinating and enlightening, to say the least. Thank you. And in a country where the women take such impeccable care of themselves, it's good to see the men don't let the side down. Oh. Coming up, I visit a psychiatrist to refresh my body and soul. You need to open your heart. Well, you see, we've got a problem there. And discover treatment for stress that's absolutely smashing. It feels amazing. I'm in Argentina, where the people are famous for being fiery and passionate. But what do they do when the fire burns a bit too hot? I'm heading to a place where locals go to de-stress. Hi there, Rachel. Welcome to the Break Club. The name says it all. This place is all about unleashing tension by smashing stuff up. So what type of people come here? Mainly women, but, like, everybody wants to break. So we have from, like, kids with their parents or maybe a grandmother as well, in some cases. <laughs> grandma. I'd love to see grandma. <laughs> Does anybody bring anything in from home? Mainly pictures, like ex-boyfriends, ex-girlfriends. I gotta just think about that for a bit. <laughs> I'm a bit of a yoga-loving hippie, but I'm willing to go into this with an open mind. OK, so here we are, we're ready. Got my overalls on. Hmm. Now, which weapons shall I choose? Best have a few options, I think. We'll get something with some length in it. Two baseball bats, a club, and an iron bar. I mean, that should do. I'm ready. <laughs> 
Oh my God, this just keeps getting better. <laughs> it's kind of creepy cool. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Never underestimate a pissed off woman. Did that really not break? Okay, I'm clearly not trying hard enough. Oh, this feels great. Some balsamic from the kitchen. <laughs> I just did a champagne bottle. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, now I'm into it. Take that, you idiot. And that's for, oh, this is so good. I'm just loving this. Actually, I'm starting to worry that I'm enjoying this too much. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the best therapy I've ever had. Okay, I finished that. <clears throat> it feels amazing. I mean, you're stronger than I thought. Things start clicking over in your memory bank and you're like, oh yeah, that really pissed me off. Then you just get lost <clears throat> in the thought of just annihilating things. And... Great cardio workout. Yeah, no, it is. <laughs> and it's amazing how it does start triggering um, like your memories, you're like picking up the telephone and all those telephone calls that you just wanted to say something. The telephone triggered me a lot. Amazing, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. So now I know for sure my fiery Argentinian side isn't too far from the surface. Maybe now it's time to beautify the body and soul. I'm in fashionable Recoleta, where I've found a place where beauty meets emotion and science. At Universo Garden Angels, they offer a beauty therapy which helps people find harmony in their thoughts and feelings. And after all that bashing about, this could be just what I need. So can you tell me about aroma color therapy? It's the wise union of aromatherapy, color therapy, and flower essences. Aroma color therapist and psychiatrist, Dr. Paz, is gonna help me find the right combination. First, you need to choose and one color. One. One color. Mm. Don't think too much. Don't think too much. No, no, with the heart. I, I have to go with that. Mm. Magenta. Magenta. Yeah. It's a color with a, a powerful, very powerful. You are a very creative person. Now you need to relax more because we are working a lot. Yes. You, you need a rest. These are my two favorite colors. This is uh, the union of red and violet mm -hmm. is this color. Especially. These were, I was gonna have a wedding once and these were the colors. It's the people who broken That's the, why the that ball. wedding never happened. <laughs> <laughs> because I think these two colors. Yes. That's a good thing. It's weird, I don't know why, but nah, I've never picked I that. know you will choose this color. <laughs> <laughs> Orange. You are a magnetic person. I'm trying to pick cards now that are resting. I would pick yellow. Mm, energy. <laughs> all, all the colors uh, say what? something about you. You, you are a, a powerful person. It's, it's real. Do I pick any more colors? Perhaps you need all the colors. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll just go with three. Oh, good. What do I do with these now? Can you show me? Yes, okay. of course. <laughs> First, the yellow. Energy? We have to have more energy. If only they knew where it'd been earlier today. Place on the skin. Mmm, that smells good. Now for the pink. And the other uh, line is um, love. Well, you see, we've got a problem there. Why? Why? Why is the problem? We could be sitting here for a long time. Like, I got married really young, I had two beautiful children, I had a beautiful marriage. But, you know, I do need a relationship at some point. Yes, you need to open your heart. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm Is going into bad dog? territory here. <laughs> anyway, back to spraying myself with some love. <laughs> and yeah, the, 
And the loved one, what does that have in it? Rose, and it has a flower essence. And one of the flowers that is in, in this product is holly. Holly? Holly. It's open the, open the, the heart, heart and release anger with, <laughs> with holly. <Just> wear it. <laughs> Put the bottle on my heart. <laughs> I should just wash my clothes in it. Yeah. Now, what is it? Hang on, I was orange. Yeah, the color is in this product, and this product is uh, very powerful. What's gonna, what is it, how is this gonna help me? This is, uh, this protects your uh, environment, the aura. It has uh, frankincense, and the frankincense uh, relax the mind yeah. and um, clean great. the space. Yeah. Okay, so if I started using all these products that I that I need, yes, would they start affecting me? Do they start affecting you? This would help you liberate some like blocked emotions. Beautiful, honestly, it's just been amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Next, with my body and soul in perfect harmony, I call in the Glam Squad. Classy but sexy. And take on the world's most sensuous dance. Feel how I want to lead all the time. I'm loving Buenos Aires. It's moody, seductive, beautiful, and just a little dangerous. Kind of like their national dance, the tango. I hear the tango. Which you see people perform everywhere in the streets here. Tango is considered an essential part of the Buenos Aires experience. So tonight, I'm going to join in. Hey, Rachel, how are you? But first, I want to make sure I look the part. So, Sebastian, what are we going to do today? We're going to do some makeup for tango. Okay. We're going to dance tango tonight. I am. So it's going to be like a smoky eyes okay. with uh, yeah. red lips. Okay. Very typical tango makeup. Fantastic. Okay. I'm You're up for it? I'm a little bit nervous about having a red okay. lip, but it's okay. <laughs> we okay. can try. Yes. Okay. Okay, perfect. So how do Argentinian women love to wear their makeup? Oh, they love it sexy, classy, but sexy. Okay. Uh, the youngest use more makeup. Okay. As far as the tango makeup, can you describe what that makeup is? The typical tango makeup is very dark eyes yeah. with black liner and eyelashes, false eyelashes. False. And red lips. Red lips. And a very even skin. Pale. Pale. Skin. Because you see the women, they're so, they've got yeah. the most beautiful <laughs> skin and then like their long fingers and their nails and stuff, right? Yeah, like, it's very like elegant in a Retro way, yeah. classy yeah. but sexy. Sexy could actually be an understatement when it comes to the tango. Legend has it that it was born in the brothels of Buenos Aires in the late 19th century before it exploded around the world in the 1920s. Have you danced tango before? I have. I did Dancing with the Stars in America. Oh, yeah. And I danced mm -hmm. tango. It's very, very hard for me to do. Really? Yeah, because the man has to be the one in control. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I want it to look like someone's bit my lips. Okay. Okay, we're done, Rachel. What do you think? It's amazing. So it's like tango-inspired makeup, not very yeah. dramatic. No, no. You still look gorgeous. You, you don't think Young. this is dramatic? Well, not that dramatic. I mean, it's not like, like the original tango makeup. It's beautiful. Yeah, you look gorgeous. Yeah. Now for the perfect tango outfit. Red, which I always love red. This is more of the classic yes, tango beige. Right? This is pretty traditional. I like this one. It has great shape to it. And this is kind of what I would think of the Argentinian tango. So fully channeling Eva Peron, I'm ready to tango. And here's my dance date, a man who lives and breathes the tango, How are you? Amir. Are you ready? I am, I chose the black one. And are you nervous? How are you feeling? I'm a little nervous. When I was on Dancing with the Stars, the tango was my favorite and highest scoring dance. But it's a different story dancing it in its country of origin, alongside people who pretty much learnt it at birth. Oh, feel how I want to lead all the time? You are a good dancer. Hmm, I do feel a little overdressed. Still, maybe that will distract from my footwork, which is definitely a bit rusty. Oh. 
you have to follow me. Oh, I see I'm yeah. not good at following men. Uh, you have to relax and, and enjoy the dance, enjoy the moment. Described as making love in a vertical position, the health benefits are said to include warding off depression, dementia, and insomnia. And I can see why there is something so seductive about the tango. Oh, wow. You could just get lost in this, couldn't you? It's good for you. You just get lost in tango. Yeah. Perfect, congratulations. Your first time in the milonga. <laughs> So I might not be winning any competitions for dancing tonight. But if there's one thing I've learned here in Argentina, it's always put your best foot forward. And at least I can say I look the part. Hola. Beauty is a big priority in Argentina. And the treatments, the salons, working out, keeping skinny, I mean, it's, it's all a part of the beauty culture here. Charlotte was gorgeous. I mean, she's such a beautiful person on the inside and, you know, Again, beauty is what you want in your life. It's not for someone else to judge because you're the only one looking at yourself in the mirror. And as for aromatherapy, Dr. Paz had me worked out in three colors. Yeah, I would say in another hour would have probably unraveled quite a bit of information. In fact, too much information. Argentina has this amazing energy. There's this calmness, but there's this great passion you feel in the underbelly of it. And I think People have this, this calmness, but deep passion here. And I, I and I like that. This is where I first learned about genital whitening. Let's just go right there, shall we? I would have thought some kind of dipping would happen more than a laser. It makes you happy, it makes you happy. What can I say? Genital whitening, white sausages. <laughs> 